Hi everyone. Today I'm just going to go over my rib rub. That does sound a bit dirty. And so these are the ingredients, as you can see, that I'll be using for this. I'm actually making a little bit more than I would just to uh, cook a two or three racks of ribs. Mainly because I do cook ribs so often. I want to make sure I have some extra. I don't want to make it every time that I make ribs, so I make a little bit extra. So what I have here is brown sugar, and I took this out a lot earlier. I wanted the moisture to sort of dissipate out of it as much as possible, and it makes it easier to uh, not have it clump. We're mixing in a glass bowl, just for making it easier to see. What I have is one cup of brown sugar, and I'm going to add half a cup of white sugar, and what I find with the white sugar, it helps bring out some of that uh, sweet heat that maybe the brown sugar does not. I'm going to do three quarter cups of paprika. I don't have any Hungarian paprika, but everything I have read is that is the preference. It has a bit of a darker color. And it comes out. You don't want to use smoky because I will be smoking the ribs. So I want to make sure I don't use smoked paprika. So this is a quarter cup and I need three of these. Very expensive way to buy it, mind you. And the reason I use uh, white pepper is just gives a little bit of extra heat. I'm going to use three tablespoons of kosher salt. Now I know kosher salt isn't as, come across as salty as table salt. So you can go a little bit uh, extra if you prefer salt because you do get a lighter taste. I'm going to add, I'm going to add three tablespoons of chili powder using a half teaspoon here just because it fits in the neck of the bottle. Three tablespoons of garlic powder. Three tablespoons of onion powder. And as you can see here, it's getting a really nice variation of colors. Three teaspoons of cayenne pepper. So again, just a little bit of heat. It's not to overwhelm. I'm going to use one teaspoon of cinnamon. Now cinnamon, again, it's just something that adds a little bit of kick, a little bit of that spice without it being too much heat. Allows the sweetness to come through in the barbecue sauce. And lastly, two tablespoons of black pepper. Now that's all in there, we can mix it together just with a whisk. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you get rid of all the lumps, which is usually caused by the uh, brown sugar. And when I use this rub, what I do is I leave the ribs, do the basic, just like you'll see in some of the other YouTube videos where people just cover it lightly in yellow mustard, which doesn't really add a flavor just to help with the adherence of the rub and let this, uh, put the ribs, uh, put this on the ribs and let it sit in the fridge overnight. And then before I start smoking the ribs, at least they're gonna be out for uh, an hour and then start, uh, start to smoke the ribs from there. And it really adds that complexity of flavor to the ribs. And that's it, nice and simple, relatively cheap when you start to buy everything and you make it yourself, a lot cheaper than 
buying a rub. Uh, I don't want to necessarily say a lot healthier because of the amount of sugar, but at least you can control what's going in it. And you can add and tweak and uh, start off with a recipe from a friend of mine, just tweak different things and then ratios, uh, switching some of the black pepper out for white pepper, uh, switching out some of the brown sugar for a little bit of white sugar, adding a little bit of cinnamon. Just came up and just give it a try. Uh, try it on a small section of ribs. That's what I used uh, did in terms of the variation of sugar and sweetness. And then tweak it, tweak it to what you like and just have fun with it. The beauty of cooking at home. Oh yeah. Oh yeah.